another question about toothpaste because you said you have uh, four children i have three and uh, they're swallowing in all their toothpaste all the time and i said well that's full of chemicals anyway just spit it out um is there anything about that are there edcs or any other um ingredients that are not good uh, to swallow in from the toothpaste and if this is your first time here make sure to subscribe so you can learn more about fitness and nutrition hormones and anti-aging all this to optimize your life overall and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything uh, yeah for sure there's ingredients that are not good i don't know about edcs in toothpaste i don't think there's that many but um there's definitely problematic chemicals in toothpaste i don't even like fluoride to be honest i've i've gone fluoride free three years ago and i've never had a cavity in my life and i still have not had a cavity i know people that have never used fluoride they've never had cavities i know a research a phd scientist from harvard um who he's been brushing his teeth with just water an electric toothbrush and water for the last at least 10 years and he's never had a cavity so i think this idea that we need fluoride like high high doses of fluoride is kind of silly frankly and i've looked at the research studies just specific to fluoride um in the old studies in the 1980s they did using fluoride they used cow's teeth bovine teeth and they put the teeth in acid with or without doses of different fluoride. And then they did x-rays of the teeth and then they argued that there was less degradation of the teeth in the case when fluoride was present. But now they recently redid that exact same study, but instead of using x-rays, they used better technology to image the surface of the teeth and they found no difference with or without fluoride. So the whole idea that we should use the fluoride, it's all based on these initial studies with cow teeth and they're not even valid studies. So from that perspective, it's kind of insane. And then to, once you start adding on all the toxicity from fluoride, I mean, if you swallow one thousandth of your toothpaste, it's too toxic. Um, I've done the math and I've done YouTube videos on this looking at it, and especially for children and their development. And then you add in all the fluoride from the drinking water that people get and you're way above the toxicity level um, in many cases. And it, it's a long-term health hazard so it's not going to immediately cause damage but it does build up over time and cause damage and that's more concerning because less people pay attention to that it's like these artificial estrogens people aren't motivated because it doesn't give them a headache or some immediate problem so they don't think it's a real problem but in reality it's a real problem it just takes a long time to happen and then there's two other chemicals i watch out for in toothpaste so fluoride i don't like i don't use i also don't like these these harsh detergents like SLS, there's just no reason that we should have harsh detergents in our toothpaste. Um, some people are definitely more sensitive than other people. And there's some genetic risks you can have for periodontitis um, that I do check for when I do DNA analysis. But the third and final product, chemical that I look for, in, and this one is the most common in natural toothpaste, it's called carrageenan. Um, carrageenan is difficult to spell, but it's a seaweed compound. So I'm not even going to try and spell it, but most people, it doesn't cause a lot of inflammation, but it absolutely hundred percent causes inflammation for my gums. I really struggled with puffy red gums and swollen gums. And the dentists always would ask me if I floss. And of course I do every day I would tell them and they wouldn't really believe me, but I do. And as soon as I got carrageenan out of my uh, toothpaste and I got a carrageenan free version, it, my gums look amazing and they always have ever since and if i go back to carrageenan even in like a really natural expensive toothpaste my gums get all inflamed again and i've looked into the studies and there's some politics there's a lot of real interesting corporate bias behind this carrageenan which is again it's isolated from seaweed so people think it's natural they think it's healthy because it's natural but in reality it's somewhat inflammatory and there's a lot of corporate spin on the studies but if you dig deep enough, and eventually I'll do a YouTube video on that because I have dug into it. I just haven't had time to do the video, but it's inflammatory. So I would avoid that. 